Alright gang, welcome back to So That's Gaming, this is Laramus with just another quick update video for PKGJ. Um, there's been a couple updates, last video we updated to dot one three, but since then dot one four, one five, and one six have been like just pushed out in like rapid succession. And so they come with a couple of neat little updates. Uh, 14 brought the ability to download and install PSP games, which I know a lot of people have been wanting. So if that's what you're looking forward to, uh, today's your lucky day. Or a few days ago was your lucky day. <laughs> um, and then 15 brought some HTTP error reporting uh, improvements. And then in 1.16, uh, uh, additional error reporting, installation error reporting were improved. Uh, also, with the addition of the automatic creation of PSP and PSX directories. So, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to go update to the latest dot one six. So, we're going to go ahead and launch our Vita shell here. And make sure we're set for FTP, FTP mode here. Okay, no we're not. So, we're going to change it to FTP. And... All right, we're gonna head over here to the computer now, and we're gonna go to our PSP. Da, 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 da. One, three, three, seven, and connect. There we are. So first thing we gotta do is navigate to where we've been setting all of our uh, VPKs, and for some reason I'm not. Oh, there it is. Huh. All right. So we go down to VPKs. I'm going to delete the old PKGJ since we won't be needing that. I mean, technically, I don't believe you need any of these after you install your VPKs, but it helps me keep track of what's been installed. So, this is the new uh, VPK for the new version. We're going to send that over. And that's it for the PC side. I'll leave a link to the releases page for the new PKGJ. All right, back on the PlayStation Vita here. And circle to cancel. Uh, now, in order to get it to fully work, we will have to go ahead and add one line to the config text file, which is located at UX0 PKGJ or PKGI. So here's that config. So I'm just going to go down here and what button is it? Insert. Okay, am I? Oh, nope. We want to go here. Here we go. Alright. So this is the line that we have to add. This will also be listed in the link in the description. Let's see. I gotta go. Oops. Come on. Don't be shy. Things I can tell already. URL. <clears throat> so I can't even type. U R L underscore. I'm going fast forward through all this so you don't have to watch every step of my mess out. All right, there we go. You are underscore PSP underscore game space HTTP colon forward slash forward slash no PlayStation dot com forward slash TSV forward slash capital PSP underscore games dot TSV. Make sure you hit the little down arrow and I'll keep that line there. I guess I accidentally added two lines here, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Hit the circle and hit X to save. All right, we're done with that portion, so now we're going to navigate where we sent our VPK, per usual. You should be familiar with this process. And we're going to go down and select VPKJ. Yes, and as usual, yes to allow extended permissions. <clears throat> All right, it looks like we're done. We're going to hit, go back to the home screen here. And... We're going to launch this and it should say dot one six. <clears throat> Let's go and make sure everything's working the way it is supposed to. Okay. I believe I may have forgot to uh, 
save your config file so make sure you do that by hitting circle after you edit it and then hit X to save there it is so PSP games <laughs> there we go that's better now I have a couple PSP games actually installed right now and uh, the, like these two right here I'm wondering why they don't have a little circle next to them that's all right though so there you go you'll be able to install your PSP games using PKGJ now awesome sauce so uh, let me know what you thought in the comment section below uh, thumbs up if you like this video and if you haven't already done so be sure to click that subscribe button and get subscribed and keep coming back for more gaming videos and if you want to be part of the notification squad be sure you click the little bell icon that way you get notified of all my future uploads and until next time peace